It's the 2K Sports pregame show. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, happy to be here with my partners, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Hey, Boo Boo, how long till the game starts? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Never. This thing is broken. Never. Man tells me it's a Rolex and I can't tell the difference, but I guess I can. This Rolex don't work. I should have bought a time man. $20 down. <laughs> an exciting Sunday night edition of the end we are yeah and music and the NBA go hand in hand so it's not a surprise to see a player like DJ who is enamored with both which is experimenting here Clark early in the season in the Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here Riambo he's checked in for Vucevic Spates comes in for Gordon Hezanya he's checked in for Isaac and DJ Augustine subbed in for Alfred Payton and a new group in for the Celtics. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Horford. Tatum comes in for Marcus Morris. A train, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Smart. On the court for the Celtics, Irving and Brown pair at the one and the two. EJ out there with Tatum, and it's Baines in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And Boston has possession. The Magic getting the buck, and DJ throws it down. And guys, what stands out to me the most of DJ's whole journey here to the NBA is that he was discovered in a street ball competition. I don't know what kind of show he put on, but apparently it was enough to get a camp invite. Celtics making a switch here. Rozier's checked in. Now here is Augustine. He's covered closely. Pass to Fournier. 115 left here in the opening quarter. It's stolen by Brown. Pass to Rozier. Back to Brown. He dishes it to DJ. There's the screen. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Love that mindset of DJ. I mean, really appreciate that he comes in wanting to get better each and every day. Hard not to like a player like that. And, you know, the Magic last summer looking to address their biggest weakness, a team really desperate for more perimeter shooting to, to space the floor. Now, here's Fournier, and he really did play well against Chicago in that last game. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range from beyond the arc and then some. And the quick release of Fournier. Man, he's so good at getting his shot off as soon as the pass reaches his hand. DJ dishes to Baines. 
EJ with it. Spates there. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's going to be on Maurice Spates. The Celtics shooting their third free throw shot of the game. 16 seconds left in the first quarter. Now here is Augustine. He's guarded closely. And there's the feet to Fournier. Off target from three-point range. And that concludes a high-scoring first quarter with both teams tied up. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. You don't get a name like DJ without having a love for me. That's a good question. Um, music played. And he has made a lot of fans happy with that choice. Yeah, I believe it's good for players to have an interest off the court as it can kind of give you some balance. Uh, seems he has reinvigorated his love for basketball, though, and that's a good thing. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And guys, for the Magic, what jumps out to you so far, and numbers-wise? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. Yeah, nice beginning so far. This is how you play out of the gate. Augustine and Fournier are in the backcourt. Maurice Spates out there with Bismack Biombo, And it's Hezonia in at the three slot. That's his out there for Orlando. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Evan Fournier out of France. One sixteen left in the second quarter. Here's a train. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. Man, what determination from DJ would not be denied. Love how he forces his way through. He's got his fourth free throw of the game. Magic leading by seven. One oh two left to play here in the half. There's the screen. Now here's Fournier. He's covered closely. Count the basket. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Magic. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. Now, here's DJ from six away. And it's Spates with the rebound. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Fournier with the ball, picked up by Brown. Here's Spates. A shot missing. So the Celtics will take it the other way. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. And they weren't anywhere near as sharp as they would like to be. But at the end of the day, a win's a win. And they've got to feel good about that. Definitely. And when they look back on it, partner, in a few weeks, all they'll remember is the W. Fournier gets a wide open look. That's in Augustine with the assist. Fournier's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Magic. A train. That misses would have counted had it gone in. And the first half. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action. Follow. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game. Both teams making some changes here. Now Irving. To the paint. Here's DJ. Gordon with the defensive effort. Pete rejected by A train. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Pace of play is a big part of tonight, okay? Orlando making some changes. Spates comes in for Vucevic, and Evan Fournier subbed in for Augustine. On the court right now for the Celtics. Rogier's out there with Wells. Then there's A Train. Then it's Marcus Morris, and it's Baines in at the five spot. Just five on the clock. 
Fournier for three. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession for the Magic. Yambo is checked in for Gordon. Ross comes in for Isaac, and Max subbed in for Peyton. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Rozier. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And league expansion is something that simply won't leave the conversation in the NBA right now, Clark. Do you think that uh, the NBA adding another team or two is inevitable? I don't think it's inevitable. As a matter of fact, I think we're at a good number um, where we are, Kevin. It's still the best league in the world, and I think you could dilute that a bit if you added teams. So I'm fine with where we are. Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Magic. A few times this season, turnovers have cost them, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And it will be a fight, Greg. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for the players. Boston's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. And the Magic with possession. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. And Mack kicks to Fournier. Pass to Biombo. They set the screen. Here's Spates. Just five to shoot. Let's go. The good-looking shot from the wing. And giving the fans what they came to see, a, a spirited performance. Well, they've got to be pleased with the effort they've seen so far tonight. Everybody pitching in for what looks to be a solid W. And there's the call on Atrey. That's his third foul of the game. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Great frustration right there, and I agree with you. Self-control of your emotions, a must-have if you're going to play winning basketball. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Yeah, DJ looks for a shot on offense. I love that about him. He definitely has a scores mentality. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams. To joining us that'll do it for now for greg anthony clark kellogg and david alder this is kevin harlan thanks for watching the nba You know, when I was um, helping out in AAU, seems like a million years ago, we had, we had a team that got beat by 100. 100 points. And so when you get beat like that, like we got beat tonight, it's tempting to just write it off. Yeah, the coach would just say, ah, our shots weren't going in. We missed our rotation. We had a bad game and they couldn't miss. Even their scrubs seemed like they were shooting for the ocean. Okay, let it go. Bad game. The very next game, we lost by 30. That's not us. We will not do that. I mean, everything we worked on and talked about got broken down tonight. That's not acceptable to me. Is it acceptable to you? Or you? Or you? Huh? Ask yourselves that. Because it's not acceptable to ownership or the fans or even the freaking popcorn guy. We're going to dissect this and film tomorrow, and we are going to learn from it so that it never happens again. Man, he's really mad. I don't think I've ever seen 